Hi, I'm Shen, Global Head of Product at HTC Vive, here to quickly share with you what's coming up in our next update for Vive XR Elite. Earlier this month, we shipped Photo 4.0 with new features like parental controls, instant tracking mode, a new relocation experience, and improvements to existing overall user experience. We took a lot of feedback from the community listening to what works and what doesn't work for you, figuring out how to make things better. And a huge shout out to our Discord and forum members for taking their time to send us their direct input. So for Photo 4.5, we focused on polishing existing user experiences and implemented bug fixes. First, let's talk about Vive Stream. Quite a few Vive XR Elite users will use our headset to play the thousands of available experiences with PC VR. And we've made a few improvements there. Photo 4.5 comes with a new Wi-Fi firmware update, which enhances Wi-Fi compatibility and fixes certain bugs that cause low data throughput and thus a reduced resolution. You can also now pair your headset with a pin code when streaming wirelessly. So if you're in a different room, you no longer need to mess around with a QR code. My Streaming Hub will now also be able to keep your headset streaming client updated wirelessly, no longer needing to plug anything in if you're a fully wireless user. For those who really want to dive in their VR settings, previously you'd need to go to your PC and control it from there. From next week, you will now be able to configure those settings in VR. Some users may prefer to use the headset tethered. In these situations, we recommend connecting to a port with a 30 watt power output if wanting to use it in either glasses mode or with the battery cradle indefinitely. If the headset doesn't receive enough power, it will enter a low power state where the displays lower their brightness and overall performance is reduced. We've now added a pop-up notification when this occurs to let you know when that's happening. We've also added some tweaks and improvements to the new relocation behavior we released in Photo 4.0, including a few minor bug fixes when it came to switching between tracking modes. And lastly, we have a few firmware updates. I already mentioned the improved Wi-Fi firmware coming with Photo 4.5 earlier, but we are also updating the firmware to the battery cradle to now better support powered USB hubs and certain low latency audio devices that use a USB dongle. This update comes with fixes that addresses USB connectivity with some PCs under certain conditions as well. Aside from the Photo 4.5 update, we also have something new to share with you. After a major overhaul and a lot of user requests, we're releasing a brand new Vive video app for Vive XRD. You can use it to play your own videos in either VR or mixed reality with support for both stereoscopic 3D and 360 videos and the ability to control everything with just your hands. So that's a quick summary of what's new and coming soon for Vive XR Elite. We'll begin rolling out Photo 4.5 in a few days time and we'll publish a full list of updates on our release notes page. Vive XR Elite users will receive a notification in the headset when the update is available and Vive Streaming Hub updates will now show release notes when updated on the PC side. The new Vive Video app is available to download from Vive Port, which we'll link below. If you want to give us feedback or input on this update or anything else, please visit us on our Discord server. Myself and CT from my engineering team are around to support, or if you just want to have a quick chat.